it's Izzy from Tech, and today we're going to discuss the basics of tire construction. Knowing how tires are constructed is a core fundamental requirement for any tire technician. So let's get started. What is a pneumatic tire? Most people think a tire is just a rubber wheel, but a pneumatic tire is actually a high pressure air container supporting the load of the vehicle, its passengers, and cargo. If the tire doesn't have enough air pressure for the weight it's carrying, the tire will overflex and likely fail. If the tire has too much air pressure, the tire ride will be rough, uncomfortable, and can even explode. Tires are designed to contain these inflation pressures using either fabric or steel body plies to reinforce the tire. These plies wrap around a bead bundle, which is a steel wire hoop holding the tire to the wheel. The bead bundle also prevents air from leaking or the tire from slipping on the wheel. Currently, there are two types of tires in production, bias and radial ply tires. Bias ply tires have body plies wrapping around one bead and run diagonally across the tire before wrapping around the opposite bead. There are always at least two layers of body plies wrapping around the tire in alternating directions. As more layers are added to the sidewalls, the rigidity of these walls strengthens. The nature of the bias tire as it flexes creates a distortion in the tread area, typically leading to a faster wear on the tread area. This distortion also creates a smaller contact footprint on the road. Now radial tires have body plies running straight across the tire at a 90 degree angle from the beads. Passenger vehicles typically use fabric cords such as polyester, while larger tires found on trucks and other commercial vehicles use steel cords. Typically there is one layer of ply wrapping around the beads. Beneath the tread, there are multiple layers of belts consisting of fabric and or steel cords to stabilize the tire. These belts allow the tread to maintain even contact with the road surface, which leads to even wear in the tread area and increases the fuel economy of the vehicle. Thanks for taking the basics of tire construction. If you have any questions, contact your tech distributor or go to techtirerepairs.com. See you next time.